Hello, welcome back. We were just about to, uh, whoops, no, not wrong. Rotten button. Uh, look at a note. Um, this one. So, if you want to read, uh, I don't want to read this, but if you want to read this, uh, freaking yawning, pa pause the video and read it if you want to read it. Okay? Yes. And pause again if you want to read this part as well. That is all. Uh, back, back, back. Got crystal clear. Got a few cuts and bruises. But the zombie man was all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, thank god, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. What are you talking about? It's a key in a jar. Can I just pick that up? No? can't. What am I supposed to do with it? Oh, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do with it. Wow, that was a huge key. It really was much bigger in fake life. What's that, a hook? Okay, I thought that was a lever before. Not a hook. It makes more sense now. Anything else I can do in this room? Uh, can I sleep on the bed? Why is the bed so lumpy, anyways? The dead bodies hidden under there. Daniel, did you kill people and then shove them in there? Shame on you, Dan. Daniel. Daniel, shame on you, Daniel. Back home. So we were this way, this way, this way. Where are we? Oh, nice. Just leave a torso there. That's that's nice. And it made a nice squishy sound. You know what? I'm going to do this because you just suck. You just end it. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. Now the legs There's have no a shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Trying to... There we go. Ooh, lovely. Lovely baby. And thing. Oh, look at that hairy chest. Okay. So... We're going to go somewhere. I'm going to go to the study because I really don't find anywhere else that I can go to. Um, and this episode might be a little shorter, depends on how much time I have, and I think I don't have much, but whatever. I think it might be only like 10 minutes long or something. We'll see. Light. Why am I not? Why am I? It's not that dark. What the hell is wrong with Daniel? Freaking noob. Noob. Freaking cat face. Freaking cat, because I don't want to say that other word. Oh, look, I broke everything. Oh, look, I broke everything again. Oh, look, I broke everything again. Oh, look, there's a... And it disappeared. That's nice. And I can supposedly, weirdly, handle things. Uh, what's under the table? Sounds like dying dogs. That's nice. That's always nice. To, it's a good thing to hear in the morning. You just wake up to dying dog noises and balance things on top of candlesticks. Oh, that's just beautiful. What is that? throw a chair up on top of these balancing candlesticks. Oh yeah. And a bat straw basket thing. Yeah, that, that could go there too. 
there's more boxes. No, boxes stay there. Okay, good. Uh, you two can put some barrels up there. Put everything up there. Okay, I can't pick that up, can I? Why are you... The light's just there. Look, it's right there. It's right there. There's nothing to be afraid of. Freaking piano, you can't even open it. That's good. You know what? Just because this guy is stupid and I have so much tinder, I'm just gonna... BAM! What's there? There's nothing there at all. There's nothing in this showcase display thing anyways. Um, there's chairs in the corner. There's nothing else matters. There's some lanterns or oil. I don't know what that is. Ooh. What's this? Oh, Jesus, hello. You go facing that way and put off the demons. Uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go out there. Protect me, Jesus. Nah, I don't care. What's in here? Oh, is it another dark room? He's gonna get scared of because there's not enough lighting. What's that? Oh my god. Wait. Can I? Wait, I can see stuff. I can't do that. Can I? Can I take a book and throw it out the window and break it? No, I can't. Stop making that noise. Jeez, it's so scary. To my most trusted student and friend, John Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened today, I mean happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last twenty looking for the la I have been looking for wait, I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last twenty odd years. Okay, that does make sense. I was in my head, it was like, no, it doesn't make sense. It has been inexplicable as the Hel Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. Okay. It was as it was told about an underground Mithraic Mithri Myth I think that's temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and my crotch area. Which isn't to say a lot. Um, anyways, uh, la, 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 Ravine, if you want to freaking read all this, then you pause it. Um, continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light. Okay, boy. They certainly must sound strange, but I've been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Geo Genoa. Another boringness. Your friend and mentor, Henry Cornelius Agrippa. Well, that that's nice and boring. And I can't break anything. That's nice. What's this room for, anyways? Just to be here and do nothing? To freaking Jesus again. Yeah, yeah, get ink all over yourself. That's nice. Um, so this room has actually no point at all to it. It's just there. Stop getting wavery vision. Come on, look, look. What? Your head is crystal clear. Good. But you know what? There's nothing around to scare you anyways. Look, it's all clear. There's no one here. Jesus, where are you? I'm scared. Help me ward away the bad guys. Out the window. Oh, jeez. 
What? <gasps> no, Jesus. Smash your head into that glass. Oh, come on. That's not enough to break the glass? Ah, freaking... Really. Jesus, your face isn't hard enough. Get a harder face. God. Get... I need a chair. I need a chair. I need a chair. I need a chair. I got a chair. I got a chair. Now I need to go back. I'm gonna smash that window open. Down there. You can go. Okay, now, um... Uh, pick up the tinder. Can't go there yet. Wait, there's something over there. I know it. Jesus, let's go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Jesus, get in the room. Just get in the room. Seems like this episode is going to be this good amount because I really oh, get out the window. Ugh. Bye bye. So yeah, um, this episode really is going to be long, like the usual length. I mean, um, just after I throw all these chairs out the window. Sound good? Yep. Good. What? Stupid windows. Always not making any sense. Get out there. Jesus, I'm sorry. But... No, 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 no. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Come back. Come back. Okay. I'm all alone now. I all alone. That's sad. <laughs> Let's touch this thing. Oh, when will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. Though I... Though... Wait, what? I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Who's I? Me? Or I? Chamber controller. Using steam power for elevation. Elevator schematics. Dot, dot, dot. That explains a lot. And elevator renovation plans. What's that? Emergency deaccelerator. Wait. Decelerator. Decelerator, not deaccelerator. It's deaccelerator. Decelerator. Get some lantern oil. Pick up some. Gain a bit of freaking everything. Throw that over there, pick up a note. If the elevator breaks down, make sure blah 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 blah. We will check this later when we actually need it. Um Hammer, you go over there. Okay, fine, don't. And Yay! Tinders. Well, that broke. And anything else here? Nope. 
Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, see you next time. Bye!